Assalamu alaikum everyone. It's me Kwali. I have done my doctor of pharmacy from Akhtasit College of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Today I am here to give you an introduction about compartment model. And then we will be discussing the one compartment model, two compartment model, multi compartment model and non compartment model inshallah. So starting from today topic that is introduction to compartment model we are going to discuss about the basic concepts of the compartment model like what is model what is compartment what compartment model is starting from model it is a mathematical description of a biologic system and is used to express quantitative relationships whereas compartment is a group of tissues with similar blood flow and drug affinity this is the basic difference between both of them what is compartment model compartment model is a physiologic system is often described decomposing into number of interacting subsystems called compartments which is a mass of well mixed homogeneous material that behaves uniformly remember that compartment is not a real physiologic and anatomic region further what is pharmacokinetic model pharmacokinetic model simplify the complex pharmacokinetic processes and helps in the estimation of drug concentration in body and factors affecting it pharmacokinetic model is further divided into the two types number 1 is probabilistic or classical compartment model number 2 is physiological based model classical compartment model is further divided into four types number 1 is open compartment in which the drug can move in and out easily number 2 is closed compartment in which the drug can move in but cannot escape out easily number 3 is central compartment which is also known as blood compartment and it comprises of blood and highly perfused tissues for example heart lungs endocrine glands number 4 is peripheral compartment peripheral or tissue compartment and is further divided into two types that is shallow tissue and deep tissue shallow poorly perfused and deep tissues negligibly perfused now physiological based model which is further divided into three types flow limit models number 2 is physiologic models with binding and number 3 is diffusion limited physiologic models remember we use circles or blocks to represent a compartment however we use arrows to represent the transition of the drug into and out of the compartment we in which a compartment is in a model is connected is called representation of a compartment model there are further two ways to represent a pharmacokinetic model number 1 is mammillary model and number 2 is quaternary model so mammillary model starting from mammillary model it in in this model compartments are connected in parallel fashion whereas in quaternary model compartments are joined to other compartment in a series central compartment and one or more tissue compartment are connected in parallel form whereas in quaternary model compartments are not directly con connected to central compartment that's why it's rarely used why sometimes urine is taken as a sampling compartment then blood remember because some ketinic drug have rapid tissue absorption so excretion studies provide best method for following time course of drug 
that's why we use urine as a sampling compartment when blood so what are the applications of model it helps in predicting drug levels in plasma urine tissues calculate optimum dosage regime estimate accumulation of drug and its metabolites minimize adrs improve drug therapy develop new drug delivery system helps in bioclin studies explain drug interaction during absorption distribution metabolism and excretion